Hey, hey y'all! Welcome, Welcome back. back! Today we'll be showing you guys how to make orange chicken, a popular dish that you can order at Chinese restaurants. Um, or you can go to the mall and order this. Or order this at Chinese takeout. Is that what we usually do? Mm -hmm. At the mall. <laughs> and um, I usually fill it up in my to-go box and I don't oh, like yeah. sharing with him. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you want to learn this simple, easy recipe, please stay tuned throughout the video so that you can learn. Mm -hmm. Also, this is our final product and it's time for a taste test to see how we do. My favorite part. <laughs> taste test time. Taste test. Yeah. Oh man. Check this This out. is better than mall quality, okay? This is more like fancy Chinese restaurant quality. Cheers. 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 Mmm. Wow. It's way better than takeout. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. It's amazing. I'll tell you why. It's sweet, it's tangy, it's sticky, and it's spicy. It has all that flavor all incorporated together mm. in one bite. It's well balanced, mm -hmm. I see. I think it's perfect and um, it can't get any better than this because you're making everything from scratch and it's fresh mm -hmm. and it's delicious. So if you make this for your family, this is gonna be like one of those top dishes that your family will request again because mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna make this again. This is really good. This what do you is think? Scrumptious. 10 out of 10? For sure. 10 I out know of it's 10. 10 out of 10 for me. Mm -hmm. Cheers. It's my favorite. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Wow. Who doesn't love fried chicken and sauce? Yeah, but this is bomb. Mm hmm Y'all, y'all gotta make this, okay? Don't don't leave yet. Learn this recipe. Yeah. Do your thing. Whew. I keep on We gotta teach him how to make it. Okay. Right. It's time to dive right in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> First, let's gather our ingredients. Two pounds chicken thighs, boneless and skinless, or chicken breast. For the batter, we'll need two eggs, one and one fourth cup water, one tablespoon olive oil, one and a half cups flour, one half cup cornstarch, two teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon black pepper. To create the orange sauce, we'll need one half tablespoon fresh ginger grated, four cloves garlic minced, one half cup orange juice, freshly squeezed, one teaspoon orange zest, one fourth cup sugar, one tablespoon oyster sauce, two tablespoon light soy sauce, one fourth cup rice vinegar or white vinegar, one teaspoon sesame oil, and one teaspoon red pepper flakes, which is optional. To create the cornstarch slurry, we'll need one tablespoon cornstarch and two tablespoon water. Other optional ingredients will include sesame seeds, green onions, and whole dried red chili pepper. And as always, the specific measurements and ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. To begin, we're going to prep our chicken. We're using chicken thighs because it just tastes better. However, if you are a health conscious person and want to use chicken breasts, then that is totally up to you. We're going to cut our chicken roughly into one inch bite size pieces and be sure to trim off the excess fat. Transfer this to a bowl once you're done. Now we're going to create our wet batter. To the mixing bowl, combine two beaten eggs, one and a quarter cups of water, one and a half cups of flour, one half cup of cornstarch, two teaspoon baking soda, one tablespoon olive oil, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Give this a good whisk and get it to a paint-like batter consistency like so. 
Next, pour the batter into the chicken and give this a good mix and make sure each piece is evenly coated in the batter and set this bowl aside. Now, let's preheat our fryer to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And while we wait for our oil to reach the desired temperature, we'll go ahead and prepare our orange sauce. First, grab an orange and with a zester, get a teaspoon of orange zest and squeeze one half cup of orange juice. And if you want to use store-bought orange juice, this is perfectly fine as well. To this, add in one tablespoon oyster sauce, two tablespoons soy sauce, one fourth cup sugar, and one fourth cup white vinegar. Give everything a good mix, and at this point, be sure to give your sauce a taste and adjust the flavor by adding sugar or vinegar so the level of sweetness or tanginess is to your liking. I like a little more sweetness to the sauce, so I added 1 8 tablespoon of sugar, and this made it perfect for me. Additionally, mix 4 cloves of garlic and grate a thumb of ginger and set these aside for later when we cook our sauce. Now, it's time to fry. Carefully place our battered chicken into the fryer one piece at a time. And, this is optional, but we're going to double fry our chicken. We highly recommend this double frying method because it will make your fried chicken so crispy to the max. By frying at the lower temperature, this will allow the chicken to cook slowly but evenly. And later frying at a higher temperature, the second time around will give the chicken an extra crisp and a nice golden brown color quickly. So when we are frying, make sure they're not sticking together in the oil. Place them in the fryer separately and stir occasionally to prevent them from sticking together. Depending on how much chicken and how big your frying pan is, you may have to fry in multiple batches to avoid overcrowding the fire. Fry them for about two and a half to three minutes or they're a light gold color. Remove the chicken and place them on a cooling rack to drain the excess and continue with your next batch. And if you're not using the double frying method, you may fry your chicken for about five to six minutes straight or until they're golden brown before removing them from the fryer. Now set the fryer to 375 or 400 degrees Fahrenheit to fry it for the second time. Put the chicken back in the fryer and fry them for another two to three minutes or until they're golden brown. Once again, remove the chicken and place them on a cooling rack to drain the excess oil. In the meantime, let's make our sauce. Heat up your cooking oil to high heat and add ginger, garlic, red pepper flakes, and red chili pepper to bring out the aromatics. And if you can't handle spicy food, then you may leave out the pepper. Oh my goodness, it smells so good already. Cook this for about 30 seconds or until your garlic starts to turn brown. Now, add the sauce that we made earlier to the pan and let it simmer for two to three minutes to reduce. To thicken our sauce, we're going to make our cornstarch slurry, which consists of two parts cold water to one part cornstarch. Make sure you don't use warm or hot water to make your cornstarch slurry because it will just get sticky and clumpy. Give this a good mix and pour in your cornstarch slurry. Make sure you're continuously stirring after adding in this mixture so no clumps build up in the pan. This sauce has such a nice aroma when cooking. You'll know once this sauce has thickened enough because it will stick to the back of your spoon. The longer you leave it on the heat, the thicker it'll get. Turn off the heat and add a teaspoon of sesame oil and your orange zest and mix this all together. Once done, go ahead and take it off the heat and transfer the sauce to a bowl. Wow, it's good. 
Now transfer the fried chicken to a large bowl and generously drizzle your orange sauce and give them a good mix or toss. You may add more orange sauce if you prefer your fried chicken to be extra saucy. Finally, we can plate our chicken. Sprinkle some sesame seeds on top and garnish with green onions, which is optional. And voila, done. Here is the final product. Make sure to serve this delicious dish immediately and with a side of rice. Enjoy! And there you have it, the best orange chicken ever. Look at that glaze. Isn't it beautiful, y'all? So nice and sticky and glossy. The texture is crispy and crunchy on the outside with tender and juicy chicken on the inside. Mmm. The orange sauce has a nice balance of sweet, citrus, and savory with a little hint of spiciness. I promise you, every bite will taste amazing. Oh yes. So be sure to give this simple and delicious recipe a try. You won't regret it. We guarantee this will be a huge hit for your family and favorite dish for years to come at your home. And friends, that's how you make orange chicken. If you like what you see today and you want to support us, press the like and subscribe button down below and the bell button so that it can notify you when we release new videos. And let us know what you think about our recipe down in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Peace. Peace. <laughs>